Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Lauren here and I'm here with another great video for you guys today. Today I've got another Wizard 101 video, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be touring my wand house, like I've been promising for a while now, but I never actually got to it. To it. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. We've got a bunch of pets over there. I have a lot of pets. They aren't all in this castle. I've got a lot more. First ones we're going to look at are the ones over here. So, I mean, as you can see, i got a couple of... Um, Christmas holiday wands. I got a couple of bizarre wands here. Juniper staff. Um, I think that one's from Marleybone. That one kind of looks like the city staff, but it drops in Mushu. Um, this one is one of the new Mirage ones. So it's like, I don't know. Let's look at the stats on it real quick. Tetris bait baton of woe. Yeah. It's one of the new Mirage ones. It looks kind of silly though. I don't really like it. Like you just hold it up. It, it looks funny. Whew. All right. Sorry, I had um, <laughs> had Sonic for lunch today. Alright, these are some of the new bows from Mirage. I really like these because they kind of look, you know, there's this little mechanism, little mechanical kind of vibe to them, how they do that. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to shoot that, though, because, like, it keeps moving and it keeps changing, so how exactly would that work? I might have to get one for Storm and try it out in, like, a, I don't know. Try it out against a poor innocent lost soul. Alright, got some Voltaic. This has like an axe and a bl or an axe and a shield. Got some more of those Mirage ones. Let's see, check with the storm stats on this. 7% damage, 54 block, 195 of that um, pip conversion, and one power pip. Oh, and it does 160 storm damage. As you guys can see, I'm currently using the Ioni Legendary Sword. Um, it's the same sword I was using whenever I was fighting a Shadow Walk. I use this generally if I ever you know, need a lot of block or if I'm in a PvP match or something. Um, and then this is just my critical wand, which I'm going to go ahead and put that on real quick. Let me check my stats real quick, make sure that I have everything. Nope, there's a few things I still need to change back real very fast. Um, yeah. There we go. Okay. I need to get the old cob boots. Still farming for those. I also need to get the shadow pip. Um, shadow pip jewel. Uh, what's this one called? Crocopatra Royal Staff. I think you get this from one of the dungeons. The Wizard101 calls them the four dungeons or whatever. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you, you don't get them from one of the four dungeons. You get this from the um, Exalted Crocopetra one-shot dungeon. I remember now. Okay, I feel stupid. It's pretty useless, though. The stats on it aren't too bad. It gives Shadow Pierce, but I'm not exactly sure why anyone would need that. Uh, you can pretty much guess where you get that. Either Mount Olympus or... Alright, which one is this? Mount Olympus or... Yeah, Tartarus. Sorry if I sound kind of weird and if I'm, you know, not as talkative or, you know, as energetic as I usually am. I just woke up like an hour ago, so I'm still pretty exhausted. Alright, so we got an ep something called the Epic Sword. It's kind of weird. Oh. Well, alright. I guess it's just there to look cool. What about this one? Flameforged Falcon. Yep. Those two are just there to look cool. Alright. <laughs> Although, to be honest, it would be pretty good level 50 ones. I mean, starting out at level 50. It would be terrible ones if you kept going. Alright, so now we're going to continue on inside, and we're going to look at the ultimate part of my collection. Whew. As you can see, I've got signs pointing to where to go. What does it say? Oh yeah, this is supposed to tell you to go upstairs couple of little up arrows. Alright, let me go. Thank you. <laughs> Ready, set. Whee! This is only the first room, guys. I'm only going to point out some of the uh, more important ones, though, because there's a lot of them in here. Got some Halloween ones. Um, I got a lot of Sky Aranostas. I farmed for those for a while. I don't know why. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of the wands are going to be exactly the same, because sometimes I get duplicates and I throw them in here. Eventually, I'm going to need to start a second wand house. 
so that I can put, you know, additional ones in here or in it that aren't duplicates. And right now what I'm doing is on the outside, I'm just setting up castle block walls so I can get more space and put more wands on them too. So I'm going to turn this into a big project of mine. I've got a lot of projects that I've done. I did a maze in my botanical gardens. That maze was freaking huge by the end of it. Um, I didn't actually record the end of it, but it was really big. I did record part of it, so go to my castle tours and go ahead and check that out because it's a pretty interesting video. And I think the maze is pretty cool. I think you might actually enjoy watching that. Um, Alright. I did take it apart, though. And I still have the maze in my... What is it? Gotta find it real quick. Somewhere in here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh yeah, my Acropolis. And then I think I have one in my jungle house boat on the inside of it. And no, the Acropolis maze isn't the one, you know, that they built. It's the one that I built. So, it, it's self-made. Um, I think this is a special... No, that one needed the bazaar. I think there's a special one that looks exactly like it, though. And this one's from Azteca. This one's from Azteca, but for some reason it's sideways. You see that? What? <laughs> what the heck? Alright. That's, uh, that's interesting. Oh, uh, this is the Crystal Staff of Mirages. So you get this. This drops from, I think, not Morganth, but I think it drops from the tree that you fight right before her. <laughs> he gives a steel giant iron, or a steel giant, um, item card, which is four pips. It's a balanced spell, and it does 30 damage on the first hit and it does 450 damage over a three round period to all enemies so it's not only you know an overtime but it's an AOE overtime like fire dragon <laughs> so that's pretty cool um I think this one's an Easter wand what else what else what else what else uh, oh yeah this one this is one of the older ones now this is an old pack wand no one even tries to get this anymore it's you know, I got it a while ago. I don't know why I even, I don't think I was trying to get it. I think I was trying to get something else like the, um, I don't know. Anyway, so Silver Order of the Spiral. This is basically like a banner wand. There's a few of these out there right now. Uh, Mirage, I think, has some that you can craft. They don't give any stats, but they are, you know, they look pretty cool. I'm going to try and get them eventually, but I'm also trying to get the mounts from Mirage and, um, what are those things called? All of the little NPC characters that you can stick around your house. I'm trying to get those. And the teleport tapestries as well. So, I'm going to try and get the... Oh, wait, that did not go there. That was over here. Wasn't it? Yeah. It was. No? Wait. Ah, oh, whatever. So, there's another one of the ones that no one ever tries to get anymore. Glunting Dragon Lance. It's level 70. Uh, probably be good for a level 70 wizard, actually, now that I think about it. I kind of like the look of it, and whenever you use it in battle, it looks pretty cool because you like spin it around you, it's pretty epic. This one is the actual version of it, another one that no one ever tries to get. This one's pretty neat, the stats in it are pretty bad, but you, you, get, a more, uh, you get a more varied um, wand hit. So you get storm, fire, death, and ice, but you only get one of each, and then you get two polymorphs. Yeah, it's pretty much useless. I guess it could be good for a level 70 wizard again, because it is level 70. Uh, Wand of the Novice. <laughs> what does that have on it? I can't remember. Oh yeah, that's the one that gives... Yeah, that's the one that gives one of each... Um, what is it? God damn, I cannot think of the words today. Sorry, guys. Uh, Trident of Typhoons. Is this the one you craft? Yeah, this is the one you craft in Celestia. I didn't think I had this, though. Oh, must have crafted it a while ago. There's still a few wands from Celestia that I still need to craft. I haven't gotten to it, though. Mandolin of Evermore. I used to have the, um, what is it, that flute that came with the Sultan's Palace bundle? I think I sold that on accident, but, yeah, eventually I might get it back if they ever, you know, bring it back for, like, uh, another one of those special events or whatever. So this wand here comes with a Guardian Spirit, and it gives six life wand hits. It has 85 block. 9% incoming, 13% outgoing, gives one power pip, and it's level 90. So that'd be pretty good if you didn't already have the, um, if you didn't get the Tartarus wand whenever you wanted it. So that would be pretty helpful to start with. 
you know, run in the Tartarus with as a life wizard, maybe. Oh yeah, I've got another room over here. I feel stupid. Okay. So in here, you can see I've got a whole bunch of Swords of Kings. i got a lot of those scattered throughout my house, so that's not really surprising. This is a symmetrical wand. Okay. Whoa, no, I'm not here to garden. Uh, <laughs> more Swords of Kings. There's a city staff right here. This is a, I like this wand. Um, I like it because of the power pip chance. 20% power pip chance. I mean, come on. Can't tell me you wouldn't like that. The only problem is it drops all of your other stats by like a lot. So some of your more important stats like critical and block. Well, it didn't drop my block any because the one I was using had no block. But it dropped my critical by a lot. It went from like 92% to 47%. But that accuracy though. <laughs> Whoa, no. Wait, I didn't put that wand back up. Oh my god. Oh, well, I'll put some of the. I'll put these wands back up later. Gotta show you guys the rest of this house. Wrath of Anubis staff. So, 32 block. This is one of the ones that you get from, um, from the four dungeons. Either that. Yeah, you get this from one of the four dungeons. I was about to say either that or Raw, but Raw is like. You can fight him, I think, at a pretty low level. You don't have to be level 60 to fight Raw. Um, Poseidon's Staff of Tides, I think you get this one from Atlantia, yeah, you get this, this is a drop from Atlantia, it's the balance wand, so. Um, what is this, Lance of Nightfire, is that anything special? Nope, not really, it's an Azteca wand, it does look pretty cool though. I like how it's kind of pointy, it's fire, so it's orange, I'm kind of curious, I think the Storm one's purple probably, but I'm kind of curious what that would look like on my wizard. No, no, I don't want to put that one up. Alright, there we go. More Swords of Kings, and then got another Sky Iron. Again, I have a lot of, um, a lot of copies in here, but there's also, you know, still a large variety. See, you got Sky Hook of the Jaguars. This is one of the ones that you can only get from a quest in Azteca. I, for some reason, I decided to keep it, and, you know, I just kind of kept it around with me for, uh, it's been like almost four years now since I got that wand crazy. Alright, that's all the special wands in there. Just go ahead and take a quick look around at the wands that I have here. Go ahead and let you take a quick glance at some of them that I didn't specify. I need a little star one back there. I think that's part of a, I think that's a holiday wand too. Just not sure which one. Like I said, I used to, oh, and here's a Valentine's one. Like I said, I used to have a lot more wands than this, but then I went and sold a lot of them, so, you know. Yeah, this is, I think you get this one from Barkingham Palace. It's like a little, um, Fabergé egg, basically. Alright. That you hold in your hand for some reason. What's this? Cossack. Cossack Saber of Purpose. Oh, okay, so that's nothing special. Sorry, I'm so picking up wands for some reason. That one, either you get, I think you get this one in Mount Olympus. Oh, hey, okay. I guess you get that in Tartarus or something. Maybe one of the secret bosses drops it. All right, moving on. Let's go up to the next room. I'm gonna skip the hidden room for now because I've got special stuff in there. Um, you guys will have to wait until the end of the video to see that. Huh, huh, oh, oh. Sorry guys, still tired. Need like an energy drink or something, something with some caffeine in it right now. All I've got, all I've got is this little Sonic tea, sweet tea. Pretty good though. I don't know why, but Sonic makes makes decent sweet tea. All right, what have we got in here? Got another banjo type thing. Mandolin of Evermore. No, I have more of those. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Well, apparently I got a lot of mandolins. Uh, Venom Tails Bite, I think that's a Mirage Wand, yeah, nothing special though, it's for Myth. Not insulting you Myth guys, alright, this one is the one that comes with the Amber Estate, so it came with this house, kind of like a little, I'm not exactly sure what it does, I've never, you know, used it. Uh, Kimbalong Sword of Guile, it looks pretty cool, it's nice, it's kind of purplish, sparkly, it's got blue, you know. You draw, it drops in Kimba Long, by the way, so you can use it like level 25. Uh, it gives damage, so that might actually be helpful. You know, if you actually farm Kimba Long, it'd be pretty... I think it'd help you out quite a bit. But, I mean, it's not very much damage, but it's better than nothing. And you get five, um, five one spells that do 75 damage each. So, 
I think that's actually less than some of the wand spells that you can get at level 20, but with the damage boost, I think it might be worth switching over because the damage loss between the wand spells is really not all that much. It's like, I don't know, maybe like 10 damage. So it doesn't make that big of a difference. Got another crystal staff of mirages, more sky irons, another airy spear of some, of some form. Uh, this one, okay, here's the level 31. So this... Ooh, jeez. Alright, if you got this one before you got your Sky Iron Asta, I, actually, I don't think that's possible. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be possible. But it does look cool. It's a little lightning one, so you might be able to stitch it into your Sky Iron Asta and actually make it look cool. The Sky Iron Asta is kind of boring, in my opinion. I like it because it gives, you know, a decent amount of damage. It gives 10% damage to, you know, whoever has it. Whoever's using it. This is the sign of Sipokdali, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, it's a boss in Aztec. I think it's a crocodile looking boss. Um, wand of Recompense. I think this might be a Easter wand. Yeah, it's got a little... I don't know. Yeah, that's gotta be an Easter wand, because... No? Wait, leprechauns? Wait... No, 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 not, 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 not Easter. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, yes. Wand of Recompense. So, that's what that looks like. Wow, I'm sad. I'm a sad excuse for a holiday fan. What's this? The little blade, it's called Storm again. I think that might be the Storm version of what we saw outside. Oh, no it's not, but it does look pretty cool. Okay. Um... Himalayan loot of snowfall. This you get from one of the, you get this from the same um, same dungeon as the other one. Actually, I think you get this one from the one right before it. So there's like one dungeon that you have to do, and then you do another one after it. I think you get this one from the first one. Um, I'm gonna go and set that back down. What's this? Meditative wand. Oh, nothing special. Nothing special about you, man. You're not special, bro. You're ugly, and you're a piece of shit. Alright, what's this? Mace of Noble Conquest. Um, I can only assume that you get this one from Barkingham Palace as well. One of the dungeons in Barkingham Palace drops this. I'm not sure which one. It might be the last one, because this is level 40. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking wand. Um, what is it, 5% storm damage, I think? 3%, so, what's the damage on it? 90, yeah, 90 damage for that uh, wand spell, so that's still a pretty good one, but honestly, the Sky Iron Asta still has a beat. Stout Himalayan Sword, I think I already looked at this one. Oh no, this is the life version, but yeah, it's just like that other one. Um, it'd be pretty good, you know, at level 25 at least, if you're willing to give up a little bit of wand damage. So, Jade Oni's Amethyst Blade, I don't know how I have this many of them. Probably just from farming Jade Oni, but, you know, they look good on a wall. I don't really like them whenever you're holding it, because I don't know why. I don't really like blades in general, and I don't like the way you hold this. Like, I like this, because you hold it up. It makes you look royal, you know, but whenever you hold this, it's just kind of like sticking out. And when you're running, it just looks, it looks like you're going to poke the person right in front of you. So if you're running behind someone, accidentally stab them in the back. They're like, oh my god, he killed me. Yeah. It just it wouldn't turn out very fun, but yeah, I've got three of those probably from me farming for all the one-shot dungeons from that guy Got an immortal champion scepter Forget where I get this Yeah, I can't remember where I got this to be honest. I think I may have It might be from the exalted Zeus dungeon. That's all I can think. Yeah, it's got um Something called ultra dark, which is 140 shadow damage. It gives two hex cards um, it gives 3% armor piercing, 98 block, 90 critical, and 1 power pip. So it would be a pretty decent um, wand if you were lacking some other wands. Like, I don't know. It might be a good replacement for the Malastair wand, the Darkmoor one. Or at least a good start. You know, if you go in there with that wand, you should be pretty good to go. Peppergrass blade, what the heck? Okay, oh that's one of the ones that drops in Chrysalis. Alright, um, that one drops, or this one right here, drops a Marley Bone, of course. 
got some more of those chrysalis, uh, I guess they're called spears. They don't look like spears at all, but, you know, whatever. Just different type of spear, I guess. Mages, Wand of Guile, uh, Tundra Axe of Hailstorms. I think you get this one, I think you get this one in Polaris. 46 block, 5% damage, 1 power pip, 145 wand damage. Yep. Uh, I'm guessing this is just a death version of it, and there's another storm one. Oh. Wait. No, they're two different wands. Oh, okay, so this one's just like an upgraded version of it. It gives a little bit more wand damage, a little bit more storm damage, and a, a little bit more block, I think. Yeah, he gives a little bit more block. Not much, though. I need to organize my wands a little bit more. They're just kind of scattered around randomly. I might do that one of these days. Mage's Dolorous Wand. This one looks kind of cool. Didn't give any block or critical. It gives 9% death damage and 3% um, death pierce. So one power pip and four wand spells that do 145 damage each. And it's level 102, that's what, that's what I find weird about this one. I think it's more just for decoration. You know, it's a really good stitch wand, and I think KI knows that, because look at it. I mean, look at that. It's literally got death rippling off its surface. I mean, that's pretty neat. Um, I think this is another one of those quest wands. This is one of the ones we saw downstairs, but I th I'm not sure exactly. But I do think you get this other from a quest, or like a special boss drop or something. I don't know. Build a Dawn of the Day Axe. It looks pretty neat. You know, it's definitely original. I don't think there's any other one in the game that has that style. Or that has that look, or even anywhere close to it, really. Um, alright. Let's go upstairs. Farther upstairs. We're approaching what I think is second to last room. Every, every item in this house is a wand. I mean, the, um, you've got the wallpaper and the tile, but... That actually, it doesn't count towards your item count anymore, so watch. I can pick up the tile, and it stays at 296 items. I can uh, pick up the wallpaper, and it stays at 296 items. The wallpaper and the tile don't affect your item count anymore, so that's pretty cool. And it's been like that for a while, honestly, but I don't know. I just noticed it, like, a few months ago, really. Bolt from the blue staff. I'm not sure what... Oh, yeah, Zafaria. You get this one that drops from the fishing chest. Uh, for whenever you're fishing for the fog staff and all those kind of things, like the, ameth the amethyst staff and all that. Yeah. Um, got some more Zeus wands, kind of lightning bolts and stuff. Um, another one of those stout he Himalayan wands. Another chrysalis dropped wand. I'm not sure about this one. Oh, this is one of the ones from the pack. So this is a pack wand. I got this one, and I got this one. I think I have a few more, actually. I'm just, I don't know where they are right now. Huh. <sighs> Wait, which one is it that I need to... Fortune Teller's Peerless Eye. Yeah, I had the right one. Alright. What is this? Winter Solstice Augury. So, this is another Crown's Wand. I think I may... I don't know where I got this one, but... I think it may be from a Christmas pack. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. Gives 4% armor piercing, 58 critical, 8% damage, and 1 power pep. I actually, I think I got this last year. I've had this one for a while. Um, what else? The Nutcracker wand. By the way, I didn't get, none of these Christmas wands are from this year. All of them are, you know, older. I got this a very long time ago. Like this, I think I've had for almost three, three years now. This used to be my go-to one. <sighs> oh. Again, I'm sorry, I'm still tired, so all the yawning, I know. Um, Alright, so it gives 6% uh, power pip, 115 block, 50 critical, and 1 power pip. Um, it gives 6 Wand spells, Ultra Arctic Sting with 140 ice damage. It's a pretty neat wand, honestly. I just, I don't know. It was good before uh, they came out with Darkmoor. It, it really was. It was a better wand, if you ask me, than the Hades, the Hades wand, the one from Tartarus. Because this one actually includes some sort of block. Well, you know, 
The stats are more evened out, I guess you could say. All right, that did not go there. Whatever here, I think. Yeah, whatever. All right, get another one of those Aztec wands. That one's a star one. I'm still not sure where you get the star staff. I know that I got it from some sort of holiday thing, but I don't remember where. There's only a few in here, as you can see. This one's from Atlantia. This one, I'm not sure. The level should be able to tell me. Chrysalis, so you get that one from Chrysalis. It's a pretty weird looking wand. It kind of looks like a hammerhead shark. I'll give you a look close enough, I guess. Um, you get this one from the Road Runners pack, or Road Raiders, or whatever, whatever it's called. I also got the motorcycle um, mount from it, but that right now, that's on my... What is it, my fire? No, my life wizard. I forgot I made the life wizard. It's on my noob. Let me show that guy. Let me show that to you later. You gotta make a spell. Ooh. Oh my god, guys. May cast the metal ops. It gives three of each. Um, death and fire, one spell. It gives 4% pierce, 115 block, 115 critical, 10% death damage, 10% fire damage, one power pep, and it allows for a square socket. So it, it's a pretty good wand overall. It has a decent, you know, if you're death or fire, the stats are kind of spread out a little bit more. And it's level 110, so I don't know if people would really want to use it all that much. I mean, it looks like a good PvP wand for those two schools. But that's really about it. Alright, so we're going to go down to the last level that I have not shown you. The last area of this castle that you have not been shown that has the wands... It has more wands in it, and these wands are the best of the best of the best. They're the coolest wands, the best looking wands, the rarest wands in the entire game. They usually only fit one, one or two of those categories. They're, you know, one of those wands is not going to fit all three of them. You know, one of them could be a really good wand, but it's not exactly rare. One of them could be a really cool looking wand, but it's not rare or powerful. So... Yeah, I just have the uh, coolest wands in here, basically. It's where I keep my better ones. Alright, so all of these have some sort of special story to them. Um, as you can see, this one's the Krampus wand. I got this one from Krampus on my storm. You can't move it over between wizards. I found that kind of stupid. Let me see if I can unlock the sockets. Grandmaster. I'll have to go get that. I don't want to use any crowns on that. But yeah, the stats on it right now are 24 block, 50 critical, 55 of that pip conversion, and a 1 power pip. So, pretty neat. It looks cool at least. Here, I'll put it on for you guys. Show you what it looks like. Yeah. I don't know, I might, you know, this one might actually be something that I could carry around. I mean, I don't like the fact that it doesn't exactly match my my gear, because that's usually what I go for, but I, I can picture myself using it in the future. If I ever change the way I look. <laughs> oh, the obvious one here, Staff of the Dragon's Maw. Um, Hades Staff of Tempests. I need to, I need to go ahead and go down to, um, the, the lady next to Prospector Zeke, I need to have her unstitch this one. I'm not sure what it or what it originally was, but I switched it to this. Right now it's stitched into the Hades Staff of Tempest. I'm not sure what the original one is. Actually, I'm going to keep that in my backpack because I really need to unstitch that. I've already got a Hades Staff of Tempest here. Um, Staff of the Devoured. Pretty sure I got that from a dungeon. It looks really cool too. Staff of the Long Winter is a crowns one. Kind of like it because it's got that, I don't know what that is up at the top, but it's like a stick and it's got all these little crystals up at the top, like ice crystals or something. It's a pretty cool wand. Solar Staff of Anubis or Pike Staff of Anubis. It's another crowns wand. I'm not sure if I got this from a pack. No? I don't know where I got this, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it because it literally has Anubis's head on it. It's got, a little, it's got his little dog ears and everything. Um, of course, I stuck the city staff in it in here. I have more. I have two or three of those actually. Seal Team Demolition Hammer. It gives a Maycast Detonate, which I think is kind of weird. 
gives 6 wand spells, 60 blocks, 60 critical, 8% universal damage, 5% death damage, or death pierce, 5% myth pierce, and 1 power pit. It looks pretty neat too. It's like this rocket type thing. Kind of cool. Alright, let's go ahead and stick that all in there. That's just a cool looking one. This one actually drops from raw, so that's why I put it in here. And it's got, this would be a good level 20 wand if you weren't looking for wand spells. So, it also probably wouldn't be, I don't know, it might be, might be good for level 20 if you're a storm. I would say use it more if you're another school, but, I mean, if you're a storm, it would definitely, definitely be pretty helpful as well. But it'd also be a pretty good wand if you're a school that doesn't exactly have a lot of hits at that level that are very useful. So, that would be a good one to start with if you actually want to hit a little bit. Alright, got that Prismatic Volcanic Axe. I used to have this on my balance. In fact, I think I bought it for my balance when he was a lower level. I ended up getting it, and I used this wand for a pretty long time, actually. Finally moved it over. I'm not sure where I got it. You know that much. Um, Polarian Explorer's Pickaxe, so you get this from, well, you get this from the Polarian bundle, it comes with the Polarian Shipwreck, if I can find that, right there, comes with that one, so, it's a pretty neat looking thing. Um, this one, Nevermore Tailing, I think I actually got this from a drop. Yeah, I think this dropped in, went in the Winter Bane Gauntlet whenever I was running it for Pet Snacks at one point. I got it, and I was like, oh my god, look what I got. It gives a stun card and it gives six item cards or six one spells and one pip. So I kinda it gives an extra pip at level ten. That's what I like about it the most, honestly. In fact I feel kinda silly for not moving it over with my life wizard. Um here's two Luffalum blades that I have. So these drop from Omen Shrybog. Gives two percent shadow or two percent armor piercing, forty nine critical, five percent universal damage and it gives them it gives that power pip it's got a square socket and it gives six major shadow strikes which do 150 shadow damage each and this is the storm version of it by the way these are mostly no trade so I don't know why they keep doing that but that's yeah, a thing six percent storm pier 67 storm critical 15 percent storm damage one power pip and I currently have a socket that I can go ahead and use on it too so Alright, let me go ahead and put that back onto the wall. What do we got here? Four bells ringing. I got this one a while ago from a wand. Or not from a wand, from a pack. It gives one power pip, 2% armor piercing, 65 critical. It gives an elemental defuse, which is really kind of useless unless you do PvP as a balance. I mean, I've seen a lot of balance wizards. I mean, the way this spell is used, it's crazy nowadays. They use it a lot more than they used to. It used to be just absolutely useless you know, 100% of the time, but I guess people have finally found a use for it. It's because it gives five pips, and it only, you know, it gives you one spell for each of the elemental schools. And then if you want ones for the spirit schools, you have to buy a separate spell, so it's kind of silly. Um, these are the ones, the special ones that I fished from Zafaria. I actually got this one a while ago from a code, the Golden Beak one. I still need to fish for the rest of them, but they don't actually give any good stats. They're really just there so you can say that you have them, and they, you know, they look really, really cool. In fact, I think I have one stitched in my wand right now. This is the Amethyst Blade. It's stitched into my Jack Hallows Whaler, which is actually a pretty cool-looking guitar. But you know, I decided to switch it into this because this just, you know, it matches my gear set so much more, and it just it looks so much cooler. It's got the little purple floating crystals above it. I really like that. <laughs> my wizard always like slams it against the ground like harder in the cart like with a hammer or something like that it's pretty neat all right let's go ahead and put that golden beak back up we got the umbra blade that we're gonna check out now this one's a pretty cool one it's really dark and it's really creepy you know it's got that oh and it shoots like a purple laser down its blade I like that I like that too like an illusion kind of get a little crystal in the middle I'm not sure if that's a crystal all right, maybe an amethyst I'm not sure what that's supposed to be actually What's the one for death? Like an opal or something? I can't remember. It's been so long. But I thought opals were... Hang on, let me go. Nah, I'd have to check all the way down in my shared bank. I'm not, I'm not ready for that. It's like way down there. Oh wait, no. I forgot I already walked down the stairs. 
Oh well, it's still way across that room over there. I'm too lazy, guys. It's your fault. It's completely your fault. <laughs> you guys have made me lazy. Alright, the Warpwood Wand. This one, I liked it better whenever it was a staff. KI decided to make a staff version of it as well, so I'm going to fish for that too. But this is the wand version. It used to be bigger. It used to be a staff. But I think um, I fished it out whenever it was supposed to be a wand. So what KI did was they went back and fixed that. And now if I want the staff version, I have to go back to Zafari and have to fish for it all over again. Because they're evil. They're evil, I tell you. But I will get it. I'll get it eventually. So it gives five... Uh, wand spells, 75 damage each, major life fury. Again, not really for the stats, you know, it doesn't really give anything important, so it just kind of looks cool. Honestly though, I don't really like the look on it, but I, I guess there might be someone out there who does. It's got that weird little green light in it, maybe that's what's supposed to make it look special. Not really sure, it just kind of looks like a really curvy stick to me though, so, you know, with a flashing green light. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put that back up on my wall here. My wall of fame. <laughs> Alright, this one just looks cool. Equilateral sword. Or, why is it called? Why is it called an equilateral sword? It looks more like an axe. Doesn't it? Like, it looks like it's something that you'd swing. You know, it's got like a double bladed axe maybe. But it looks absolutely nothing like a sword. Like, I, I imagine a sword being something along like this, you know. This does not look like a sword. It looks like a double bladed axe. But it does look pretty cool, so, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Like, I know it's in here somewhere. Or Crescent Axe of the Astrals. This one's pretty cool. Um, you can buy it in the crown shop. I bought this, like, years ago. This was a really old one that I had. Um, it's got three blades on it. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's three blades to it. And it gives 3% armor piercing, 30 blocked, 20 critical, 12% incoming... Uh, life heal and it gives one power pip and then it gives this interesting this is the interesting part of it the rest of it just just forget about it it's all useless it, it's 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 good yeah it's boring this one right here though this is what i love it gives six moonbeam cards now this is literally a a moon attack it, it's kind of like you know the shift spells it's like that, but y it, you don't turn into it. You just you attack them with this wand. But it's a moon wand spell. I really want them to make, you know, like a sun wand spell and like a star wand spell. But I don't see that being possible because first off, sun spells are more of enchants. And star spells are more of, you know, what appears around you. You know, little bubbles and stuff. But I don't know why they decided to use a moon. They need to do one for the other schools too. Maybe... Maybe make a wand where it has one shadow wand spell, one moon wand spell, one star wand spell, and one sun, and one sun uh, wand spell, and make that the next I don't know crowns wand for you know the next world. I would definitely buy that because that'd be that'd be pretty neat. All right, so that's that wand. I really like that one just because of the wand spells alone, but the rest of it's pretty useless. It does look cool though because it's got three blades on it. Like I said, this one's just kind of a useless blade, but it looks really neat. You know, it's got that. You got the little sparkling sparkles, or I forgot what those are called, sparks. It's sparking at me. It's going to light my entire house on fire. I mean, this house is made of honey, so it's not exactly the sturdiest thing in the world. Alright, so this is the thorn blade. This one, I think I may have gotten this from a pack. It gives one extra power pip. It gives 6% um, armor piercing and 80 critical. But the interesting thing about this one is it gives two Earthquake spells and five Myth Wand spells. So the Earthquake spells are really what brings it out, but honestly I like the look of it as well. If it wasn't for the look, it wouldn't be on this Wall of Fame here. It really wouldn't. Alright, and the last one is the Long Blade of the Asura. I like this. I decided to put at least one of these in here because I can't fit all of them on the wall in this room. This room is like really tiny. So I decided to put one in here to represent all of the others that look like this wand. So it gives 2% death damage and all that kind of stuff. It gives the wand spell. So like I said, at level 25 it would be pretty useful if you are willing to give up like 10, 10 damage off your wand spells for an extra 2% damage to every other death spell you have. Then it would be pretty useful. And honestly, I do think it would be worth it'd be worth the sacrifice at such a low level. Because really, damage percentages at that level aren't very high anyway, so 2% extra damage is actually quite a bit.
All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. That's all the ones that I had to show you today. This was a 40 minute video. That's insane, but I do have a lot of wands, so that might explain it. Um, I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers, and right now we are only four subscribers away from that goal. So let's try and do that by let's see. Let's try and do that by December 25th. Let's see if we can get those 100 100 subscribers by Christmas. That'll be my little Christmas present. All right, peace out, guys. Have a nice day.